Pro. Hello and welcome to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to route um, audio channels from your VST instruments. Uh, so let's get straight into it. Uh, what we'll do is press F11 and open up our VST instruments. I'm going to use Omnisphere for this particular tutorial. The reason being is it allows me to have eight individual uh, like multi-timbral instruments playing at the same time. As you can see here, numbered one to eight. So first of all, if I open up the mixer, you will see, let's just make this a bit smaller. You will see here that uh, I have a MIDI track and an audio track corresponding to Omnisphere. I'm actually going to hide the MIDI tracks because we're not interested in those today. <clears throat> so as you can see, Omnisphere A has its own stereo track. If I open up Omnisphere and go to the multi, you'll see here the Omnisphere A relates to this number one channel. So for instance, if I put that to, um, let's have a bass, let's just select that one. <clears throat> and now if I press on my MIDI keyboard, there you go, you will see that that is activated. So now what we're going to do is create another couple of audio channels in our mixer relating to Omnisphere patches number two and three. So first of all, what we like to do is open up our VST instruments again, pressing F11. And this little box here, if we click that, this now shows us all our Omnisphere outputs. So what we'll do is we'll turn on B and we'll turn on C. So effectively what we've done there, if I come back into Omnisphere, is we've turned on the outputs for channels two and three. However, what we need to do is go into our multi section, and here each individual patch instantly uh, relates to output A. So, what we do now is we need to select output B for number two, output C for number three, and so on and so forth. So, output four would be D, output five would be E, etc. Uh, this, <coughs> this now routes the audio to each individual audio track which gives us the benefit of putting separate effects onto each individual instrument. So number two, which is empty, um, let's have, uh, let's have that for number two. Number three, let's have something completely different. <coughs> uh, I've just picked those patches at random. So now what we need to do is create a couple of MIDI tracks. We'll call that Omni B, Omni C, and what we need to do there, fortunately, <coughs> is just uh, route the MIDI to Omnisphere and select MIDI channel two, which would be B. Select three, route that to Omnisphere, and MIDI channel would be three. So each individual one now. There you go, there's the impact. And there's the bass, and there's our effects. So if we open up the mixer, you will see they're on individual tracks. And there you go. <clears throat> Basically, that's audio routing um, within any VST, so long as it is multi-trimble. Obviously, Cubase has Halion, I believe, um, that comes with it, which has the option of having 16 simultaneous instruments. There is a few other VSTs. Um, I know Spectrosonics, obviously Trillion. Let's create a MIDI track. The same there, we have the option of having eight stereo outs. Uh, Spectrosonic Stylus RMX, same again, that, that has the option. So we can use one VST and have eight instruments playing simultaneously 
uh, using this method where each one has its own MIDI track and each one has its own audio track within Cubase. So let's uh, run through that again. So F11, and we'll use Trillion this time. So let's turn on B and let's turn on output C. Let's open up Trillion. Go into Trillion. On channel one, let's pick a patch. Uh, we'll have that one. Channel two, let's pick another patch. Let's have that one. Channel three, um, let's pick that one. Go into our multi. Route the outputs to number two to B, number three to C, etc. etc. You can see here is our individual patches. And now <coughs> We have no MIDI tracks assigned to Trillion as of yet, so we'll create add MIDI track. We'll have three. We'll call this TR1, TR2, TR3, and now let's route them. So select number one, we'll select it to Trillion, we'll put it to MIDI channel one. There's number two, we'll select Trillion to MIDI channel 2, there's number 3, select Trillion to MIDI channel 3. Now on each one of these, there's a bass, there's the other patch, and there's the other one. So there as you can see <clears throat> within our mixer we've now got individual audio tracks for each channel on Omnisphere and Trillion. Again, this allows us to put different effects on the inserts. You know, we might have a compressor or an EQ on there. On this one, we might have a reverb. Um, obviously, very, very useful um, <clears throat> for, well, well, for me, I like it basically because, again, like I say, it allows me to affect everything individually. It gives me my own audio slider for each one because I like to mix down in Cubase. I like to have the option of doing all my mix down in Cubase and not the VST instrument. Um, again, it maybe just comes from an old school point of view whereby I like to have a big mixing desk in front of me and I control everything from that one mixing desk. For me, it just makes life a lot easier saves any confusion because I know that I'm going to do all my mixing in here all my effects and inserts and sends are going to be controlled from here and and that's it so I hope you've liked this tutorial it is quick uh, by all means if you have any questions you know get in touch with me um, I'll answer them to the best of my ability and we'll get back to you as soon as possible if you have any anything specific that you would like me to show you then please do get in touch so until next time, take care.